Approximately 10% of the world's population is infected by Entamoeba histolytica. This is the organism that causes amoebiasis. It is a protozoan parasite and common in the tropical and subtropical areas such as India, Mexico and Colombia. It is spread through the faecal oral route. In addition, male homosexuals in the West may harbour amoebae. Worldwide, it is thought that there are around 40 million cases of amoebic colitis. This is a segment of colon that shows features of amoebic colitis. The amoebae enter the gastrointestinal tract as cysts, and the cysts resist gastric acid in the stomach allowing them to pass down into the colon where they colonize the mucin on the colonic mucosa. And it is here that the cysts release the amoebic trophozoites. This colonic biopsy shows amoebae in the mucin overlying the colonic mucosa. The part of the large bowel most frequently involved in amoebiasis is the proximal bit, that's the cecum and ascending colon, but any part of the large bowel and appendix may be involved. The amoebae attach to the colonic epithelium. This causes apoptosis of the epithelial cells. This apoptosis is single cell death. The amoebae then invade the gland crypts and lamina propria, causing inflammation and ulceration of the mucosa. This colon shows ulceration as a result of amoebic colitis. And you can see how it affects the cecum and ascending colon, leaving the terminal ileum unaffected. Amoebiasis may be asymptomatic, but in colitis there is typically bloody diarrhea, abdominal pain and weight loss, and a complication of the colitis is megacolon that can develop in severe cases. Colonoscopy may be normal in asymptomatic or mild cases, but in more severe cases there are large irregular ulcers, and biopsy reveals active inflammation with typically flask-shaped ulcers. The stain used to demonstrate the amoebae here is the PAS, and it stains the amoebae magenta. Marcius yellow has been added, which stains the red blood cells that the amoebae have ingested yellow. So the PAS combined with Martius yellow is quite a useful stain for diagnosing amoebic colitis. Complications of amoebiasis include megacolon, amoebic inflammatory masses or amoebomas. The amoebiasis may spread to the liver causing liver amoebic abscesses and in very severe cases, there may be systemic spread to the heart, lungs and brain. This is an example of an amoebic liver abscess. Typically, the contents of liver amoebic abscesses resemble anchovy paste.